LinkedIn has traditionally be a been aimed at adults looking to network with clients and business associates. Well, now the social media site is aiming at a different crowd, high school students with the debut of University Pages. Ibrahim Farad is an education consultant here in Houston, and he's here to fill us in on why they are taking this approach. Ibrahim, good morning. Good morning. So typically, this is a social network that is seen at the adult population as advancing their career. So how can it benefit high school students? Well, we know high school students are already using social media, but mm -hmm. not LinkedIn. So last year when LinkedIn created the university pages, it created the opportunity for students to connect with alumni of those universities, mm -hmm. as well as college admissions officials, professors. They can easily directly find out who they should talk to about that particular college. So imagine you're going to a college or you're shooting for a college that's 1,200 miles away. Mm -hmm. All you can do is go to their website, maybe fill out a request, even go tour it. But if you connect with a college admissions official right there and right then and, and showcase your own profile with your awards, with your recognitions, with your uh, projects that you've completed, or even courses and volunteer activities, then you're way ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. So as young as 14 can now be on LinkedIn. That's it correct. used to be 18, 18. correct? That's okay. Right. And so what should they be working to build in their profiles? What kind of information? So the very first information is obviously what you want to get out of college. So if you know what you want to do, if you know what you want to study, then highlight that in your summary headline. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm looking to be studying robotics. Okay, so let's just put that up there first. And then the next thing is what are some related courses that you've taken that shows that passion? Even projects that you that you've done, you've completed with a friend. You can upload pictures, you can upload videos to showcase these. So it's a wonderful opportunity. But of course, colleges look for well-rounded students. So mm -hmm. you also need to highlight your volunteer activities, projects, camps, youth groups, anything that pertains to who you are then it needs to go up Yeah, there. to really show colleges that you are serious about Absolutely. this, right, if you have a profile. Um, it, now, parents are immediately going to ask about privacy concerns because this is considered to be an, an adult social networking site. Are there privacy issues with this, and can are there certain settings that you can use on LinkedIn? So there are certain settings that are already disabled for minors who mm -hmm. between 14 and 17 years old, so your full name does not show up. So it, it should be Sally and then your last name initial. That's all they can see. They don't see your birth date until you turn 18. And they cannot Google your full name and your LinkedIn page shows up. There's no such thing for high school students and their, their minors. But of course, yeah, you still have the control to adjust those settings once you turn 18. Gotcha. Are there some do's and don'ts that you can sort of spell out for high school students on LinkedIn? Well, the do's are that, that the fact that you need to highlight everything that you've done from mm -hmm. freshman year all the way up to senior year. So, and you need to come constantly updated and do connect with people who you think are going to help you get to that college. The don'ts are this is not a social media site, so this is not socializing. This is actually professional, so you need to treat it as such. So as you go find a job or as you go work on internships, this these are the items that you need to watch for on LinkedIn. Yeah, good time to get that professional email address sorted oh, out, <laughs> professional absolutely. pictures, everything else. All right, uh, Ibrahim, you host a weekly Twitter chat on Wednesday. That's right nights right yep. at nine o'clock and this is a very timely topic for this Wednesday yep, right? Absolutely and this is this is our highlight of, the, of this week so not every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Central we host the one hour uh, college prep chat that's mm -hmm. what we call it as hashtag so we actually are going to discuss how LinkedIn is going to help you meet with the people who you wouldn't meet, meet otherwise on a college admissions process. All right we appreciate that Ibrahim Farad thanks so much for Thank coming you. in and we appreciate all the great advice I think absolutely. any but any high school kid with a LinkedIn profile is going to look pretty impressive, I'm sure, Absolutely, to a college. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Caitlin.